I may even, okay, maybe when I read this, I may bake my own bread. You want it crazy, well you got it now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my TBR for The Reading Rush. <laughs> Hit the music later. So the Reading Rush was actually the first readathon I ever took part in. I only took part in it a year ago. It was my first readathon ever, one year ago. And I loved it so much. It was so much fun. It really immersed me in the community and I started my booktube channel about two months later. And I think it really played a big role in me feeling part of the community for the first time. And so I'm so excited to take part in it this year. I am gonna be daily vlogging it. I am gonna be daily vlogging it. I am gonna be daily vlogging it. Me regretting this decision. So let me know if there's anything you want to see me get up to. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be at Tom's house because we're moving back there for a month. So I'm going to be by the beach. Any beach activities you want, <laughs> go get some donuts. I don't know how I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to try my best. Pray for me. I need your help to keep me motivated through this troubling time. So I'm not going to be aiming to read seven books. In a dream world I would and like if it seems maybe on like the fifth day that I could do it we'll try but at the moment I'm aiming for five which I still think is a good number so let's just get into the TBR. I've got it all written out here in my trusty notebook. So for both of the first two prompts which are read a book with a cover that matches the colour of your birthstone and I'm born in January so mine is <laughs> Garnet? I think it's called a garnet. And I read a book that starts with the word the. I'm gonna be reading The Last by Hannah Jameson. A garnet is very red with like hints of black, which I thought this cover picked up on pretty well. I don't have many red covers, and this was the one that kind of like I thought exemplified garnet the best. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. And obviously it starts with the. So this is a like murder mystery thriller, which as we know is my favourite genre. <laughs> I've been waiting to read this for a while and I've been like trying to save myself for the right moment because I really want it to be at the perfect moment and I feel like that time is now. So this is a bit different to like a lot of other murder mysteries. It's set in a time when the world has just ended in a nuclear war and you and I think about like 19, yeah you and 19 other survivors are holed up in this Swiss hotel I think it's like kind of one of the last areas that hasn't been really, really affected by the nuclear war. You have been waiting there for like hundreds of days, I think already, and then a body turns up and one of the fellow survivors has died and you know it has to be someone who is there with you. And so I love it in thrillers and murder mysteries when our cast of characters are really isolated in one place. This is exactly my kind of thing. This is everything I love. Yeah, love. I don't know if I know what love is. I have high hopes that I'm really, really gonna love this book. I feel like a thriller, a murder mystery is a great choice for a readathon because they read so fast. This one is told through diary entries in terms of days. And there's some days where it may just be one line or a letter or something like that. So I feel like, especially at the beginning, if I show you, you know, there's some entries where there's nothing on the page. And so I feel like that could get me into the story really, really fast. Okay, and then the next prompt is read a book that inspired a movie you've already Already seen. Now. <laughs> they need to die in the movie prompt. <laughs> I hate her. I tell you now. No, listen. Okay. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people love this prompt. Me, however, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't watch films. I don't have the time. Like, I don't have the time. I don't. And I've never been a massive film goer, but I definitely was a couple of years ago, more so than now. Now, I just don't, I don't have the time. I barely watch anything. The fact that it has to be a movie I've already seen is a real spanner in the works because <laughs> I don't watch films. And if I have watched the film, I've read the book already. Like there's really, there's very little choice here. So <laughs> I had two options. The first, oh, I can't remember, is it called? I think it's called Nothing Lasts Forever, but it is a book that Die Hard was based off of. And now Die Hard is one of my favorite films of all time. I love Die Hard. I love 80s, 90s action films. My favorite film of all time is Con Air, starring Nicolas Cage. I've spoken about this a few times. Incredible film. Perfect. John Malkovich is the best villain known to man. Oh my god. I, I need I need to rewatch Con Air. Can ruin your whole day. What happened? We caught the plane, man! Well, 
Welcome to Con Air. But I don't really have a great interest in reading the book. I would just be reading it for the sake of reading it. Um, it's only like 240 pages, but what I think I'm gonna go with is Anger Songs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. This is on script, the audiobook for this on script, which makes my life so much easier for readathon. A readathon is all about trying to make your life as easy as possible. <laughs> especially when you're daily vlogging. It's under four hours long, it's narrated by the author, and this film, which is called Anger Songs and Perfect Snogging, not Full Frontal, I don't know why they changed it, is a British cult classic. This is a film you put on at every sleepover in primary school, every single one. Every single one you'd watch this film. Every British girl I think has seen it at least five times, bare minimum, bare minimum. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. So this is about, what is that character called? Is it Georgia? Yeah, Georgia Nicholson. And it's just her being a teenager, like a really embarrassing teenager and trying to figure out how to get boys to like her and how to traverse secondary school and all this stuff and like how to kiss well, it's stupid. But I love the film so much and I've never read the books. So I think I'm gonna go with that one because it will just be a really easy book that I can bash out in like a day. And I think it would be something that would be really fun to read. Okay, we're gonna have some fun now. Are you ready? <laughs> so the next prompt is read the first book you touch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another audiobook because I feel like in readathons, having an audiobook, it gives you the option to like have a bit of a breather. I can play a bit of Sims while I listen to it. I can listen to it while I do cooking, which I think I'll be doing like a lot of. I just feel like I need another audiobook. So what we're gonna do is I have 51 titles saved on script. Some of these, to be fair, are Tom's. Me and Tom share my Scribd account, so if it's one of them, we're not reading it. <laughs> but I'm gonna scroll through with my eyes closed, I'm gonna scroll back and forth, and I'm gonna stop on one, and whatever it is, that's what we're reading for this prompt. I'm gonna start recording my screen so you can see it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm going to be reading A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. This is a book which just came out, I believe. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I watched um, Kayla's video, Books and Lala's video, where she just read this. I was interested in it beforehand, but she gave it a really high rating. I think she gave it 4.5 stars. And from what I understand, it is black mermaids, but they live on land. I think it's very much inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement, is exploring racism and... What else does it say? Self-discovery, sexism, stuff like that. I think this is gonna be a really fun one to read in the readathon. YA is always a good choice, I think, for a readathon. And I've heard, obviously, great things about this. So I'm really happy that this is what we landed on. There were a few that I was hoping for, probably 10, 12, that I would have been really, really happy with. And this was one of them. So the next two prompts are to read a book completely outside of your house and to read a book in a genre you've always wanted to read more of. And for this, I've chosen Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganucho. So this is a graphic novel. Are we obsessed with the blue? Yes, I am! I chose a graphic novel for this prompt because I wanted something short that I could read entirely outside. I think they're like at the beach on the front and so I just want to go and read this down the beach, you know? <laughs> oh and also I want to read more graphic novels. The only graphic novels I've read are these five here and one more which my dad has borrowed right now so I've only ever read six graphic novels and although they've all been this year it's still a genre I think. Probably the genre that I'm trying to like read more and try and find recommendations for more. I find it quite difficult to find recommendations, but I love graphic novels. I really enjoy the experience of reading them, but they're just not something I buy a lot of or read a lot of. So I thought this was the perfect genre to pick for that. So all I know about this is that a boy, I think works at his family bakery and then another boy comes and starts working there, I think, and he kind of falls for him. And I think it's their relationship and falling for each other and, People just see it as really light-hearted and fun. So I'm really excited for this. I may even, okay, maybe when I read this, I may bake my own bread. You want it crazy, well you got it now. But baking your own bread is a lengthy process, isn't it? <laughs> that may be a bit optimistic that I will be able to bake my own bread during the reading rush in between everything else. But yeah, I think a graphic novel is always a requirement 
for a readathon. And then the last prompt is read a book that is based on a different continent to where you live. And obviously living in the UK, I could have read like any book that's set in North America. <laughs> You know, I've got books on this list that would fit it already. However, like every book is set in North America, so I really wanted to read a book somewhere else. And when I looked at a lot of my books that are on my bookshelf, my unread books that are set in like Asia or Africa, they're so long. <laughs> they're all like over 500 pages, the ones I have and the ones that are on my radar. So the one I've ended up going for is My Sister the Serial Killer. Tom's mum has this. I know she just bought it. This is another thriller, so it's fast paced. I think it's only like 240 pages, so really, really short. And I think it's about a girl who knows that her sister's boyfriends all tend to end up dead. I think her sister starts falling for a boy that she likes, and she's like, oh, oh shit. shit. I I can't, I can't let you kill, kill him. him. But she's always gone and like cleaned up for her sister afterwards. That's all I really know about it. I've heard mixed things about it. I've heard really, really mixed things. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's gotten so much hype from like not only the booktube community, but also the general community as well. Just like the wider world <laughs> outside these four walls of booktube. <laughs> it's one of those books I go, oh, I'll read that one day, but then I'm never gonna get around to it. So because I'm gonna be around Tom's and his mum has it and it's set in Nigeria, I just thought it's perfect for this challenge. So there we have it. That is my Reading Rush TBR. Make sure you know, let me down below what your TBR is. Tell me if you've got a video. If you do, I will go watch it. I can't wait for this so much. It's my first reading rush where I'm on booktube and so I can participate in all the video challenges and stuff like that. I'm excited to do the reading rush daily vlogs. They'll be starting I think Tuesday evening my time. So Mondays will be up on Tuesday evenings. That's the plan. That's the plan. So I will see you on Tuesday for the first daily vlog and yeah I'll see you then. Ah! Okay I'm excited. Okay bye. <laughs>